Hi, I'm Tom Grindy for the Telco Depot channel. We're so glad you're back. Now, let's take a look at product installation. So I'm going to go to another tab here where I've already into the e-link. I've already logged into it. I've already turned the account to active. I've named it Isaac. The display name is going to be Isaac W. 100 is both the registration username. Remember, that was the extension number. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to control V to paste in that password that I put. Again, we wanted to make it a complicated password. Now, the IP address here is the same IP address of the server. I click to enable the outbound proxy server, and again, the same IP address. Okay? I've also added down here under voicemail. Star 97 is, is the code we use to access the voicemail internally. That's the last thing I need to do. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to confirm this. Now, the system is going to go ahead and set up all of the account information in the phone. And we see now that it is registering. And when we go back to the Elastics, we see that this is now no longer grayed out. We have an active phone. That's all it takes to add a SIP phone to the TD systems. Remember, if you have a question, initiate a chat, or give us a call. Our sales consultants are standing by to help you configure anything or answer your questions. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us on the Telco Depot channel. Be sure to come back often to view our constantly growing educational video collection. Because at Telco Depot, you can do it, we can help.